Hello and welcome to the workshop. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do a brand new video almost every single day. You can also find me on the social medias, Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And with that said, let's jump into these sneakers and see what we got. This is actually a pair that I'm pretty excited about or excited to dive into, I should say. Buckets, do you want to do a drum roll? I do not. I will do it. Brrr, bang, bang. The Clot Air Jordan 1 Fearless by Edison Chen. released recently and retail was 130 bucks now they are reselling for around 300 bucks in case you are currently after a pair speaking of which this pair is from kicks are for us a local resale shop down here in tampa florida so shouts to them for assisting as they often do now this is yet another pair of these fearless jordan one mids we showed you the mason chateau rouge also, the Melody Asani, Blue the Great as well, and now this pair, which in my opinion might be, actually I think it probably is, the best pair of the bunch. It just goes to show you though how well executed this Fearless campaign was. Some really dope, really creative people, and they have actually generated some real excitement around the Jordan 1 mid, which has been a sneaker with almost none of that prior to now. I've said this a bunch already, but I am not a big fan of the Jordan 1 mid. The high just has such a classic feel and the mid has never been my thing. Again though, really creative people really knocked this out of the park and kind of changed the perspective and the way the Jordan 1 mid is looked at right now. What Edison Chen has done with Clot, so many dope projects, it goes without saying. So it's not a surprise that he bodied these. You just kind of have to respect it and it proves that sure, the sneaker model is definitely a part of a good collaboration, but it's it's more so what you do with said sneaker that makes it dope or not dope. Imagine if your favorite designer or artist worked on a silhouette that maybe you weren't a fan of, chances are they could change your mind at least a little bit and maybe a lot of it. Now, detail-wise, what I like most about this pair is what I liked most about the sneakers in yesterday's video. Some of you may have seen that one, and that is the swoosh, or should I say how the swoosh has been remixed a little bit. Now, yesterday it was a shark instead of the Nike swoosh. With these, it's a more subtle change but it's still really cool it's stitched in as you can see threaded in but in a way that fades gradiently and i just love that my only concern would be how well it'll hold up i could see these kind of snagging and coming loose the more you wear them but it does look awesome and there are other details as well the silk looking upper with designs all over this is a very chinese inspired sneaker inspired by yin and yang trying to kind of bridge east and west and i really really dig it more chinese inspiration with the medallion lace dubre i also always love when people incorporate where they're from into a sneaker that they're working on i think it adds to the authenticity of it how real it feels how organic it feels and edison chen is someone who does that a lot you also have a gold fearless hang tag and there's almost a satin ish interior fancy tings black laces white midsole red bottoms the only thing I don't like about these and I'm sure this is going to sound stupid to some of you but it's the Jordan tag on the tongue it just always feels dumbed down on the mid with this tag maybe I've just been brainwashed by Nike marketing but I really like that Nike Air tongue tag on the Jordan 1 high I know it's a small detail I know it might sound dumb to some of you but I feel like 
I need it. The sneaker is still great though. It's my favorite of the bunch, like I said. All of them are good, but this sneaker has a subtle flair to it and it just feels really classy. I dig the colors, I dig the details, I dig the inspiration, and I just think they're really, really good. Buckets, what are your thoughts on these? Are they the best of the bunch? No. Which pair is? Blue the Great. I figured you were gonna say that. Scale of one to 10, what do you give these? Seven and a half. All right, so you like them, you dig them, but just not as much as the Blue the Great. For sure. There it is. Let us know how you feel. Leave a comment below. How do you feel about all these Jordan 1 mids? How do you feel about all six pairs? Because there were actually six in total. And which is your favorite out of the bunch? And also, am I crazy about the tongue tag on the Jordan 1 mid? I just don't like it. I don't like that tongue tag. I know it's small, but it does bother me. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker. Adios.